<clears throat> Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Um, today we're going to look at the um, Umbrella Armory Helios um, M4 that I got from the Box of Awesomeness. Um, it was the Independence Day box. Um, as you can see, I added a couple little things that I've already had. I have my scope, um, just a four angled foregrip, and then just a cheap bipod that folds up, um, and then just a uh, suppressor on the front just to give it that DMR look. I have a um, couple DMR mags that I have, um, but the one that came with it is this mag that nobody knows what it is. Some people were saying it's a Lonix mag, 200 round, it's a 200 round mid cap. Um, this thing is super nice, it feeds very well, um, and this gun and all my other guns, um, I actually bought a couple Lonix two, uh, 200 round mags, and if I'm not saying that right, then just let me know in the comments. But um, I have about five mags that I run with, uh, and then I have a couple DMR mags that just give it that look. Um, this thing can shoot super fast, but we'll look at that later. Um, <clears throat> uh, first, we'll just kind of look at just the overall um, aspect of it. So if you take a look at the end here, I'm not sure what kind of stock this is, but um, it's on a lot of the SEMA rifles from what I've seen, even their AR-47s. Um, and then the body is just kind of a typical SEMA um, M4 look. You got the M-lock rail on the front, if you can see that. And um, it's got a metal, it came, I have it in my pocket here. It comes with this like little metal um, black flash hider. It's pretty cool, kind of has a little, it did have a little orange tip on the front of it. I ripped that off uh, and I ripped this off too because I just don't, I don't really use um, flash hiders. I like to use suppressors, it looks a lot cooler. Um, and you got the Amoeba um, grip here, a really nice grip. It's got, of course, the Helios Umbrella Armory um, stuff on it. I don't know if you can see that, but it says it right there. And then you can also see the Umbrella Armory um, little brands on there. And then on this side, you can also see it on there. Um, this is a super nice gun. It's, I don't know exactly. I think this is an aluminum um, upper and lower. Um, it's a metal. Uh, metal uh, M-lock rail. The butt is plastic, the buffer tube is metal, um, the grip is pretty, it's like a plasticky kind of polymer. It's really nice actually, it feels really good in your hand. And then I don't, I didn't leave them on here, but if you can see in the back it's got little flip up sights. I took the one in the front off, of course, but um, yeah, this is what I run in the field. Um, I used it, I'll probably be uploading um, footage soon because I use this on the field at, um, what is it called, Chesapeake City um, Outdoor Extreme. Um, that was the field that I was running this at and it actually did really well. Um, for using a Polar Star most of my time playing Airsoft, this thing performed really well. I bought a 7.4 LiPo and then I bought an 11.1 LiPo. Apparently, from what it says on there, this 7.4 shoots about 18 rounds a second, the 11 runs about 27 rounds a second. Uh, and I'll show you that in a second, um, how they shoot. <clears throat> it shoots super fast, uh, very accurate, very far. It shoots around 400 FPS is what I clocked in at. Um, and that I think that's point twos. Um, I can't remember exactly what I clocked in at as point 25s. I, everything's changed now, everybody does joules instead of FPS now when they chrono, so I kind of get them mixed up sometimes. But, um, I use my Odin speed loader, and then I'll just load this up real quick, and then we'll just go take a look at how it shoots. Um, I'll try to show you how far it shoots. It's hard for me to show it out here because it shoots pretty quick and pretty far out, but um, we'll see what we can see. So something you might want to know as you're doing this, I never knew this because I run HPA, but if you plug a LiPo into this kind of gun, you'll hear that little beeping sound. And uh, if you hear the one that I heard, then your battery works in here and it also is charged and ready, ready to go. If you don't hear that sound, then it's either dead or it's the wrong battery. Um, I don't, usually Evike has a uh, link to all the batteries that work in this. Um, if you just want a quick check at what I have, I'll put these in the link below. This is what I'm using. I'm using a 7.4, um, 10 milliamp, 25C. And then that's the same for this. This is my 11.1. 
and this brand is about, this is about $20 for this 11 one. I think it was like 12 for this. So we'll go check it out. All right, so I got the gun loaded up, uh, the mags uh, loaded up, and then I threw the uh, lipo inside the back. Um, I have my little run cam light on here, on the front right here. So that's about a 40 millimeter zoom. So you'll be able to see exactly where the BBs are going. This is what I use in my footage. I just got this like a week ago, um, and I was using it actually on this gun for the um, last week's play, and I'll use it for this week's play also. Um, one thing also is this actually kind of functions, the uh, hop-up kind of functions like a real gun. So you pull back, it'll lock back the little uh, pull thing. So if we can look, take a look at this, make this a little lighter. It's nice to move this so you guys can actually see it. But you can see right here, it locks back when you pull back the, uh, pull back the slide. So if we shut this up and I pull back this, you can see how it locks back here so you can change your hop up. And so your hop up is just right inside here and that's where you can turn it up if you need to. And then on the other side of the gun, just like a real, a real AR-15, smack that, it'll close it and then you're good to go. All right, we're just gonna take a couple shots with this. Um, you'll kind of, see, I'll shoot on semi first and then I'll shoot on full auto next. Um, and you can just kind of see how it performs on each battery if you wanna buy whichever one. So this is semi. Let's actually make sure this is recording. All right, so this is semi. Full auto. That tree that I'm shooting at is probably about, I don't know, couple hundred feet away from me so it's probably about 100 feet maybe so we'll stop the recording so that was full auto on the um, on the 7.4 lipo I'll throw in the 11.1 .1 lipo and then we can kind of see what's going on all right so I got the 11.1 uh, uh, loaded up inside here so we'll just get a couple practice shots with this and then I'll of course put this over top of the video and you can kind of see where the BBs are actually going and if you can hear in the background my dog's freaking out because he hates when I shoot guns out here so this is semi Full auto. So it shoots very fast and you can kind of hear it skips a couple bullets here and there. Um, this thing shoots so fast that I'm having a hard time finding mags that actually um, can keep up with it. My Polar Star barely even keeps up with uh, this mag. This mag is about the only good one. So what I've seen is every other mag, even the Lonix mags, even the Banff mags. Banff mags are actually pretty good. The first version of Banff mags actually work pretty good. This mag works really good, but a lot of mid caps can't keep up with this. And if you have older mid caps that have kind of bad springs, this gun um, won't be able to keep up with the uh, mags and you'll hear that little, like metal on metal sound. Um, and it sounds like it's something's breaking, but it's just, it's shooting so fast that you can't really do too much. Um, my field, you can only shoot 20 rounds a second with your gun. So this 11.1 I can't use. Um, it's just fun to shoot around outside back with friends or whatever, but the 7.4 is what I can use because it shoots around 17 rounds a second um, on automatic. And our, oh, looks like my SCO cam just died. So. Sorry about that, my scope cam died, and uh, good thing it did, because I actually got, just got the footage for this before it died. Um, anyway, yeah, this gun's really good. Uh, it's like, I think it's like $290, so for that price, it's uh, a really good gun. Um, you basically got SEMA internals. I didn't take this apart. This video wasn't super comprehensive. It was just kind of to see what it looks like, how fast it shoots, because um, that's what most people are looking for, to see how fast a gun shoots to see um, kind of what it looks like, how it feels. Um, if you run it around, it's pretty heavy. Um, I can't remember how heavy it was. I think it was like six pounds, seven pounds. But I mean, it's pretty hefty. I was using it at the game and you kind of start to get your arms a little tired from running around with it. Um, but this scope cam doesn't add really any weight. I mean, I do add weight with the bipod suppressor on this, but if you're running it by itself, um, it can be a little hefty. Uh, I guess I'm just used to Polar Star, so um, I'm just used to light guns. But uh, anyway, yeah, this gun has really good range. It has a really good uh, rate of fire. 
Everything's really nice. Uh, this is why it always sells out in e bike every time I see it. And I managed to get lucky enough to get out of a box of awesomeness. Um, and so, yeah, super happy. Um, but yeah, if you guys uh, have any questions, just put them in the box or comment box below. Um, just let me know um, what you think about it. And if you have any further questions, if you're going to buy it, just let me know. So thank you for watching uh, and see you next time.